Black Barons were formed in 1923 as part of the Negro Southern League. And a couple of years later, they joined the uh, Negro League, became, in, a, in essence, a member of the Negro Major Leagues. They had five uh, people who are now in the Baseball Hall of Fame. The most famous are Satchel Paige and Willie Mays, but they also had Mule Suttles, who is probably the Negro League home run king. Uh, they had Willie uh, Wells, who's one of the best shortstops in the, in the Negro League. Uh, they had uh, Bill Foster, who uh, became a legend at Alcorn State after he retired from baseball. He was their athletic director. The Birmingham Black Barons are generally considered the best Negro League team from the South. Their competition for uh, greatness in the league were the Kansas City Monarchs and the Homestead Grays, uh, both northern uh, teams. And uh, they would typically um, be a, either win or contend for their divisional title and then would place, have to place one of those other teams in the Negro League World Series. They did not win a World Series until the 1950s, but they were, they were always in contention. They played ball in a really tough climate. Traveling was rough, $2 a day meal money, and they divide that up, uh, get some uh, bread and bologna and mustard, and, and that was their lunch and dinners for the day. So they were not allowed to eat in most restaurants. They usually had to go to the back of the uh, restaurant in order to order their food. They may or may not get what they ordered and there wasn't much they could do about it. They usually slept on the bus because there were very few hotels that they could sleep in. Occasionally, in a big city that had a lot of African-American baseball fans, they could sleep in somebody's home. They encountered racism in practically every game um, because even when they were just playing black, blacks on, uh, playing against blacks, whites were still allowed to attend and they would be yelling things at them during the game that were uh, often offensive. Uh, then when they were playing against white teams, of course, there would be some more verbal abuse uh, that would come up. Uh, there is hard to give any definite records of true violence against them in any of those instances. There are a few instances uh, in uh, which uh, some of the black barons and so, or some Negro League players uh, died in car crashes or under mysterious circumstances that uh, you might think that the KKK may have been involved, but none of that's actually been proved. During the 50s and early 60s, uh, the African American community still unified behind the uh, Black Barons, particularly in Birmingham. They, uh, they have probably been underappreciated because they were in the South uh, and they were not in, in the northern teams that got a lot of more publicity at the time. And yet today, uh, there's a kind of a growing recognition of their role in culture because they were indeed the Negro League team in the city that represented the civil rights struggle so, uh, so dramatically. And uh, they, those folks made a major contribution to the Civil Rights Act and to the civil uh, rights progress merely by playing baseball.